As women, wives, and mothers, we can find ourselves busy with the things that are on our plate to do, perhaps taking care of children, doing chores, working on a side hustle. You know, the many things that we can find ourselves doing, we can forget the fact that we need to be growing spiritually in, in order to be fruitful in other areas of our lives. And that's why in today's video, I just thought to share a cake recipe that I worked on as I prepared for Bible study. And of course, just sharing the importance of this for a people like you and I, women, wives, mothers, and why we need to be growing and why this is an important ingredient in our growth in the faith as we seek to be all that God wants us to be. In case you're new here, my name is Clara a homeschooling mom, a stay-at-home mom, a work-from-home mom who is passionate about matters womanhood and the woman and seeking to align to the will of God in the light of this. And as we begin today's video, I'm beginning by working on this very delightful cake recipe by finely grating some zucchini or courgette. I am sharing this recipe because it's been received well every time I have made it and I hadn't made it for a while until my girls were like, hey, mom, you need to make us this cake again. It's a very delicious zucchini cake that I'm sure you will enjoy. And so I have grated the courgette and I'm also going to finely grate the lemon so that I get the lemon rind, just grating around the lemon so that you get the green part of the lemon that's the lemon rind the person who introduced me to this recipe is actually my sister and i remember when she did we loved it so much we ate it and ate it until you know the way your body now just says no enough <laughs> that's why sometimes i take a while before i make it but it's a delicious one you try and you will tell me and she says if you miss the lemon rind you have actually missed the star ingredient in this recipe because she once did it without lemon and it wasn't the same so you want to make sure you have your lemon rind and because i've also been working on sourdough on our other recipe or our other channel recipes and hospitality with clara i have worked on the sourdough version of this recipe so that you can also make it with sourdough in case you're also on the same journey but this one is without sourdough so this particular recipe calls for about six i believe six cups of zucchini grated but usually for me if i have at least over half of that i'm okay like this one has three and a half cups <laughs> of uh, the zucchini but if i have four cups i'm okay five cups i'm okay six cups now i'm good to go so we are working with three and a half cups and it still turned out well working with three eggs working with some milk cooking oil as well as vanilla so I have basically, that's basically the dried in, the, the wet ingredients in case I forget to mention all of them, but I'm grateful. The recipe is in the description below. The actual recipe with which I worked with this one. So just got all the wet ingredients together, mixed them together with the zucchini and lemon rind. And then into that, added the dry ingredients usually when i do progressively <laughs> this recipe i will mix all the dry ingredients separately but because you know at home sometimes you don't want to make many dishes dirty i just mixed all the wet in dried ingredients into the wet ingredients so i began by adding my six cups of all-purpose flour so remember this is triple the recipe i will usually work with because being bible study this is one of the ingredients i'm working with and then added in the baking powder added in some salt and then of course the sugar and then spices i worked with cinnamon spice as well as mixed spice so as we mix in the dry ingredients I just thought it wonderful to talk about Bible study, especially for mothers, uh, wives, uh, us who are at home or who can get busy at work. We can forget that 
Bible study is one of the major ingredients of our growth in the faith because we need to be growing as we we need to keep getting grounded if i would say that in the word of god the, the scriptures tell us to let the word of christ dwell in us richly meaning that we want to take every opportunity that the lord has availed to us and has revealed in the word of taking in the word so that it will dwell richly in you and i so that when you open your mouth to speak it is the word that comes forth or principles learned from the word of god that come forth because you're richly you know carrying if i were to use those words the word of god and so with your personal devotion that you know i'm big on as i talk about it a lot also on this channel you want to ensure that you are engaged in bible study with fellow brethren in your neighborhood and that means also the preparation of the same even before they come is a wonderful thing to do so i have mixed in my wet ingredients and then i have finished off with some water so usually if you have a lot of milk you can actually finish off with milk as well but usually i like to do half milk half water and zucchini has a lot of fluid within it that's why this is a big kick but we are using very little milk and water at least very little fluid as compared to other cakes this size i have shared in a short before on this channel that um, my basic bible study recipe are i would say three things i like to work with a cake you know something that is um, like a starch and then i work with a root veggie or vegetable such as doma or um, sweet potato and then work with a fruit those three because what i like to argue is if there are younger people in the bible study they will not mind a starchy food like cake or mandazi or donut or whatever but again they are on the other channel also there are very many budget friendly mandazi recipes donut recipes so they will not mind that but the older folk of course will be very happy with the ndumas or the sweet potato i also find that when you have a root vegetable and there's somebody perhaps who doesn't eat egg and this cake they can also feel free to eat the root vegetable though thankfully on our other channel we have a number of recipes cake recipes where you can work without egg and then we will have our tea as usual that you can also make into white tea so that people can either put the cocoa or tea leaves separately or coffee but again just to make things easier i just prefer to mostly make tea and then separate just a little to have the white tea in case there's somebody who doesn't take tea so i'm working with a baking sheet of three kilograms of cake because this cake is big and so i believe it's going to cook very well with that kind of uh, baking sheet so meanwhile i'll also go ahead and boil my doma so i just bought some domas or arrowroot specifically for the bible study now that i may have some but usually i've packed them in smaller bags to take care of our meals those ones i will boil and freeze but usually for something like this i like to just buy either the doma or the sweet potato on guashe separately so just going ahead to cook them in my pressure cooker for a long time i used to struggle to cook this in the pressure cooker because i didn't know how much how many minutes i should give this but i've been working with recently with 10 minutes once the pressure cooker gets momentum and starts producing steam on that little part where it produces steam that's when i begin timing once it starts doing that usually i will time for about 10 to 11 minutes and usually my doma is good to go so thankfully that's what i will do take it to the fire as we continue so i took some time to prepare for bible study which is very necessary and important and honestly i can tell you i know for a busy mama 
this is a bit tough. <laughs> uh, sometimes we are caught off guard. We are in Bible study and we haven't prepared. Personally, I would just come and because I'm busy, I know the right thing to do is to perhaps set a place where you prepare and do all the study. But sometimes we don't have all that time. So usually I would just kneel beside my bed and lean on it. Thankfully, at this point, when I'm showing this, I had already prepared for the Bible study. It didn't take me long, you know, like hours. It just take a little time. And especially when you're hosting, I know it can be tricky to have a lot of time to prepare. But it's possible, I find, even if I take just 30 minutes, usually it's enough to help me engage in fruitful discussion with others. Our cake is basically ready, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to allow it to cool somewhat as I work on my tea. This is now the afternoon really when I'm doing this. Uh, so as I prepare as well. So our cake is basically ready. As you can see, it's baked really well. And I tell you, this one, <laughs> this one was, people enjoyed it a lot. And carried for their children. And you're going to love zucchini cake a very tasty and delicious kind of cake. Yeah, so as we cut it up again, just continuing on Bible study, uh, and so I was just saying the importance of the same. I know we came to where we live and we really stayed for a while without getting a church, a place to worship, but I'm grateful that God was gracious. He led us, and one of the things I love about church is the fact that we can have a neighborhood bible study because we need to fellowship especially as moms we need the lord to build us up in our most holy faith we need the lord to mature us in the faith and he will work in through that he will work through our times with him as we relate with him in the word and prayer in our personal devotion he will work through our prayer and fasting times. He will work through those moments that we take in order to seek his face. But there is a part I believe that that is missing when we don't fellowship with others. That's why I think as a mom, this is a lesson I have learned very seriously that God has made us in such a way that we need each other. So that this is part of why I take Bible study seriously and I trust that you will also take or you're taking Bible study seriously and of course just being able to fellowship over it makes the acts of the apostles this scripture in acts very real that they met together in their homes with glad and sincere hearts they broke bread you know and ate with with their gladness and, you know, as they did all that, the Lord added to their number daily those who are becoming Christians, who are getting born again. So there's something beautiful, I believe. There's a growth level that perhaps we may not necessarily reach unless we choose to fellowship with others. That's why I take Bible study seriously. And that's why I work with majorly affordable recipes. I know there are places where people will prefer to work on meals which is wonderful but for most of us uh, at least where I am it can, it's quite tricky for somebody to come home and work on a meal it, it's usually quite engaging so we prefer to just work on something simple there are nights when I don't have time even to go and buy a fruit but because I have you know, flour, <laughs> I will do drop scones and just share that with some tea and we are good to go. Or I will do, like I said, mandazi and we are good to go. Just something simple. But when I'm able to have some little time, I like to work with these three because I know they will cover everybody. You know, cake, a root vegetable as well as a fruit. And we take that down with some tea. I allowed our arrow roots to get ready and of course the pressure cooker to release its pressure as you know it's dangerous to open it when it is full of pressure so allow it to all the pressure to get out as of course they cool and then I drained out the water and now go to peel them. As you saw earlier I didn't say I like to just add some salt to my doma, some water about a cup and a half 
and then boil it in the pressure cooker. So now getting to peel it so that it gets ready. Usually we will take this after we are done with our our discussion around the Bible and the questions. I hope that has been helpful for you, especially as you think of uh, you as a woman, as a wife, as a mother. I just trust that the Lord will help you to also take seriously his word, take seriously your prayer life, and take seriously the fellowship with other brethren. But we don't want to be in the habit of forsaking fellowship. We want to be in the habit of being part of what God is doing in our homes and through our homes as we meet together in fellowship. So thank you for joining me. As is always our custom, we will pray and just trust the Lord to be with you and me. Father, be with us. Grant us your help, your fruitfulness as you continue to work in me and my viewer. Granting as we take Bible study seriously, as we go to church, as we fellowship in different forums, that your word will constantly be central in our fellowship and you will be glorified in the same as a result. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.